All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So recently there's been a lot of speculation about what the next Dokkan festival unit on JP would be. And now we know for sure, courtesy of the official in-game preview that we got earlier this morning. And as you guys can see, the next Dokkan fest unit is going to be a Super Vegeta. And just based off first impressions, not knowing anything about what he does or what his kit looks like, I'm really, really excited for his animations, man, because what this means is that we are finally going to be getting a super, super clean final flash animation, and I know that they're going to do him justice, I know they're going to look amazing, so I just, I just can't wait, man. So uh, yeah, there you go, next Okan Fest unit, Super Vegeta, definitely a great option, a great choice in my opinion. And uh, I did hear some rumors before that maybe we were going to be getting a baby instead. And uh, actually, there's apparently some controversy in the community right now. I'm not really involved in it, but I did see a bunch of people on Twitter like being kind of angry. That uh, I think it was I seriously that said or leaked that it was going to be a Dokkan Fest baby. And as it turns out, it's a Super Vegeta. And uh, some people are jumping on him now and like just, you know, saying he lied or saying he was wrong or whatever. So yeah, he was wrong, obviously, but I think people are being a little bit too harsh, man, because this guy is providing a service to us that he really doesn't have to, right? He's not getting paid for it or anything like that. And the one time he's wrong out of like a hundred leaks, right? People jump on him. I think it's just kind of dumb. So I'm not saying everyone is doing that but if you are one of those people that are overreacting to the fact that he had a wrong leak um you just gotta chill man you know it's not that big of a deal so that's all i'm gonna say about that but um yeah super vegeta's coming and let's just quickly pop over to the dokkan wiki here just to check out what super vegetas we currently have in the game and there really aren't a lot man i mean we have the agl super vegeta who i think is pretty decent still I think with his EZA let me quickly check actually I haven't used this guy in a long time oh wait no this Vegeta doesn't have an EZA okay so maybe Super Vegeta EZA as well that would kind of make sense with this uh, Dokkan Fest Super Vegeta right yeah I thought this guy had an EZA but I guess I guess he doesn't okay so possible EZA there possible EZA for this guy who actually I think is still pretty solid but, um, you know, he could benefit from Extreme Z Awakening for sure. But he doesn't need it as much, of course, as the uh, AGL Super Vegeta. And then we have the, uh, you know, transformation for the transforming Phys Vegeta. And then we have this SR Vegeta. Now, the funny thing is, in the preview, right, the art that we have here is, I believe, the exact same render as this Vegeta right here. I mean, it could be slightly different, but it looks very, very similar. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what that's all about. I'm sure that the actual, you know, art for the new Vegeta is not actually going to be this one. But it's just funny that they decided to use the SR Super Vegeta render for the Dokkan Fest preview. I mean, it does look a little bit different. I think the... Uh, mouth <laughs> might look a bit different. Obviously, it's better quality than what we have here. But uh, my point is, man, it looks to be the exact same render. But it doesn't really matter, of course. Either way, I'm excited for this Vegeta. Can't wait for his animations. Of course, once we get the details, I'll let you guys know in another video. But um, the fact that we're getting a Super Vegeta also presents an interesting question for the upcoming Worldwide Celebration. Because... Uh, there were other rumors, other leaks out there that, you know, it was supposed to be a GT-themed celebration for this upcoming worldwide celebration on Global and JP at the end of August. And um, that doesn't seem as likely anymore just because we're getting a Super Vegeta right now. And typically, if I remember correctly, the, you know, preceding celebrations or preceding banners or units uh, are the same theme or lead into a celebration of the same theme. For the worldwide celebration right so the fact that we're getting you know the super vegeta which is obviously cell saga themed could mean that we're going to be getting another cell saga themed worldwide celebration this year of course it's not confirmed it's not guaranteed 
and I guess there's always the possibility that they still go with a GT theme celebration and I personally also predicted a GT theme celebration like a couple months ago when people asked me about it um, so I still hope that it's gonna be you know a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta that fuses you know from a Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and then also a Sin slash Omega Shenron right like that would be ideal for me I would love that but it does seem more likely that now we have this Vegeta coming that um yeah, it's gonna be Cell Saga themed instead of GT themed. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll get more details, I'm sure, once we get closer to the actual uh, celebration, which, by the way, is happening at the end of August. So we still got about a month to go. So a lot of time for, you know, more details to come out. But for now, we're getting the Super Vegeta. Let me know in the comments, actually, what you guys think uh, for the Worldwide Celebration now that we're getting this guy. Do you think it's gonna be Cell Saga themed now? Or... Do you think there's still the possibility for, you know, GT stuff like the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and uh, Omega, Omega Shen Run? Now, I don't, I think it'd be kind of weird, <laughs> to be honest, if it was Cell Saga themed, just because two celebrations ago it was already Cell Saga themed, right? And, um, I, I don't know, I would just like something different, like I would prefer like a movie themed celebration or something like that, you know, just like to change it up a little bit. Um, there's no reason for us to go back to the Cell Saga. If anything, give us like a new, you know, full power Frieza and Super Saiyan Goku or something like that, right? Like something from the Namek Saga. Or, um, yo, give me some androids. <laughs> give me give me a Tokon Fest, like new trunks and androids, something like that. I don't know. There's just so many other options. Um, but of course, once again, we don't know anything, so I'm just speculating. I just don't know how I would feel if it was Cell Saga again this year. Um, I guess it would be fine. But I just think that we should go in a different direction. You know, try something new. Try something different. But uh, either way, yeah, we don't have any information about this Vegeta. I'm rambling a little bit because I'm just like going through all the different thoughts in my head right now. But the point is, we have no information about the Worldwide Celebration. No official information. And we have no information about him either, except for the fact that he's coming. So stay tuned for the uh, live reaction to the animations, for the breakdown of his kit, and all that good stuff in the next video. And uh, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.